Hi, I'm Rich Newbold. I'm the game director on Jurassic World Evolution 2, and we're here to talk to you about our most captivating and authentic Jurassic World experience yet. Many of us on the game team have grown up with the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies in our lives. As a child, I watched Jurassic Park in the cinema and I fell in love with the dinosaurs on the screen. And then as an adult watching Jurassic World, it was so exciting. And this is a great opportunity for us to be part of that franchise and work alongside Universal and build upon the universe that they've created in the films, but allow us to use those iconic characters and dinosaurs and craft our own narrative for players to enjoy. To us, the Jurassic World franchise is about capturing that sense of awe and wonder when you see a dinosaur for the first time. And I think that's something really magical about this franchise that we really wanted to bring to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Hi, my name is James Stant, and I'm the Dialogue Manager on Jurassic World Evolution 2. In this dev diary, we're going to show you how we're bringing our authentic experience in two of our game modes, Campaign and Chaos Theory. We're really excited to show you what you can expect. Both the Campaign and the Chaos Theory mode are set in the Jurassic World universe. Jurassic World Evolution 2's Campaign mode is set in the aftermath of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. The dinosaurs are no longer confined to Isla Nublar and are now wild across the United States of America. That freedom is now creating dangerous situations that the player is going to have to handle. I'm Dan Davies, I'm a principal designer on Jurassic World Evolution 2. The players recruited by the government agency who are responsible for tracking down these dinosaurs and safely capturing them. And it's not just about the safety of the people, it's about the safety of the dinosaurs too. The player will be in charge of this initiative working for the Department of Fish and Wildlife as they work alongside iconic franchise characters. We're bringing back characters that players are going to recognise from the Jurassic World movies. Claire Deering and Owen Grady have been hired for their expertise in dealing with dinosaurs in these kinds of situations. They're going to accompany you as you travel around the United States, capturing and containing the dinosaurs now out in the wild. We are so excited to be bringing back some of our own characters. We have Dr. Kajal Dua, Isaac Clement, Cabot Finch and George Lambert. These characters will provide support and guide the player towards success. The player's role in campaign mode is very different to the other modes that we have in the game. Instead of focusing on building theme parks and using the dinosaurs to make as much money as possible, they're now dealing with the dinosaurs that are in the wild across the United States. This involves capturing them and then safely containing them in facilities that the player has built. Hello, my name's Adam Woods and I'm the executive producer on Jurassic World Evolution 2. As you can imagine, the player will face a number of challenges. The dangerous dinosaurs are just the beginning. They will be facing calamities, snowstorms, sandstorms. We are also introducing a number of new injuries and illnesses that can affect the well-being of the dinosaurs, and these will be another obstacle that the player will have to face. This is completely uncharted territory. They're away from the confines of tropical islands, away from the Jurassic World gates. This is completely new, it's bigger, and it's more challenging for the player. Chaos Theory Mode allows players to be a part of the Jurassic World franchise. Alternate timelines explore how key events could have panned out differently now that the player is in a decisive role. The players will experience a what-if scenario from each of the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies. They'll be in charge of either building a theme park or a facility based on that movie. For example, in the Lost World Jurassic Park scenario, they're going to try to succeed where others have failed and bring the San Diego Park to the masses. Chaos Theory Mode for us was really exciting as developers because it was a great opportunity for us to go back to movies that we've really loved and grown up with and provide players that opportunity to go and experience these what-if scenarios and wish fulfillment of being in those moments from the films as they have their own impact in what's happening in these scenarios. Across both Campaign and Chaos Theory Mode, the player is going to be encountering a large number of prehistoric species. We've worked really hard to ensure the species are authentic to the level or scenario that you're in. For example, you'll be coming face to face with the Indominus Rex in the Jurassic World Chaos Theory scenario. I'm really looking forward to the players enjoying these up close moments with the dinosaurs from the ground level. It really gives a unique and different perspective to the scenarios. I'm very excited to see players experience these new original stories that were crafted in campaign mode and chaos theory mode, seeing dinosaurs in new locations as they work alongside these characters and the stories that we've created. I'm really excited for players to experience these iconic characters in our original story. I'm really excited about the players experiencing the Chaos Theory scenarios and making these iconic movie moments their own, whether it's bringing Jurassic Park San Diego to the masses or building their own version of Jurassic World. Jurassic World stories are so iconic and we are very proud to have created our own to be part of that and we're looking forward to sharing that with you. 